Okay, so this is uh, my new place, and uh, there you can see the one I was walking on, which looks strong and weird. Not maybe that aesthetic, right? It's like doesn't mean to be that beautiful. It's more strong and beautiful and symbolic. So I call this painting morality. Uh, next is just a simply a simple uh, pinky Godzilla because I got to do a collaboration with a girl. She wanted to do something in pink. I wanted to do Godzilla because I like Godzilla. That's that simple. So it was a pink Godzilla, but like uh, talking about that one, the morality one is uh, the demon, the nun, looks like kind of the nun, you know? But like it's the demon of, of the morality that comes following you for everything uh, you could have done telling you that maybe you should feel guilt right now and even if you actually wanted to do it so I'm not saying everything should be guilt free very far from it actually I think even as an atheist uh, guilt is a big part of my life um, maybe because of this Catholic background who knows but we all feel guilt I think people from different backgrounds from different regions feel guilt no matter what so that one is simply maybe a demon of guilt, like just morality thing, then preaching the right thing according to a right book, whatever the book is, can be a Quran, can be here more the Bible, I would say. Uh, anything that is like uh, a notoriety into perfect behavior, the rules of life you want to give to you, that you really would not live correctly if you don't follow these rules of life. So here we go, shoop, shoop, few rules of life. So that's this heavy weight you have on your shoulders for everything you can do anytime. And uh, even if actually if you did it, it means maybe you wanted to do it. But no, there's always this introspection work that uh, society and some people, um, your close ones, the people who think who know you, even if you don't think you know yourself, who knows? All these people want you to feel this emotion, so that's why this uh, expressionism is kind of something we can worry about. It's not that light, it's not that... It's colorful, but it's not like in the very pleasant manner, so it's high. something quite heavy, all right? And that's the point. Okay, and I'm connecting all of this with the mix of the collective imaginations that I often talk about, which relate a lot to mythologies and religions, specifically when they're still taken, uh, taken seriously, with combined, because they're not in opposition necessarily, the individual imaginations, often through interpretation. So you add your own individual imagination on the collective imagination, making your own interpretation of your own religion, which means that they are not like a dozen of religions, but actually there are like seven billion of religions almost in the world. Then of course you have the different trees. But actually people feel they're more in the right if there are some few hundred of million joining the same speech, right? So that is all about this, this painting, strong painting, right?